In Jacksonville Beach, investigators were out there on the scene again today where the father of four was gunned down one week ago. Now, police say the victim, 33 year old Jared Brittigan, was targeted. On your side's Tristan Hardy's live in that neighborhood where this all happened. So, Tristan, you spoke with our First Coast News crime analyst. What is he telling you tonight? I did talk to him and we'll, we'll get into that in a moment real quick, but right now I'm in the neighborhood where police was seen combing through this area right here looking for evidence that can help solve this case. Now I want to bring your attention to this cross right here. It says justice for Jared. Now when I talk to Jack's Beach PD, they say based on the circumstances, police say it appears Brittigan was targeted. Now officials say details are being held back right now because this remains an active investigation. 33 year old Jared Brittigan was shot and killed in this area. At the time, his two year old daughter was with him. People who live in the neighborhood say the series of events unfolded fast. Uh, my family heard a, a pretty loud sound that sounded out of the ordinary. During the day, police were sifting through these trees and tall grass for evidence. To JBPD, it looks as if the victim was targeted. However, First Coast News law and safety expert Mark Botman says that phrase has a wide range of meanings. Well, the word targeted can be viewed to me as like premeditation. They both have similarities in it, but they have no time limit. Bachman says this type of case is unusual in the Jacks Beach neighborhood. In my estimation, based upon my experience, it's hard to believe that it's random. Clearly, whoever did this, to me, it's pretty heartless and callous. This is if whoever did this did didn't care. Uh, and hopefully uh, the police will be successful in finding the, the perpetrator. Now sources tell First Coast News neighbors heard something go down prior to Brittigan's murder. That even the neighbors had said that the individual may have been involved in some sort of altercation uh, that took place at a park or a baseball park nearby close to that subdivision. Now, there is a reward for information that can lead to an arrest. If you know anything that can help investigators solve this case, most importantly, give this family some closure. Call Crime Stoppers or call the police. We're live in Jack's Beach. I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News on your side.